Afternoon, this is Dave, also known as Armored Man from CZFirearms.us, the original CZ forum. With me today, I have Brian from TalkingGuns.com or .net? .net. .net, TalkingGuns.net. We are out here on the super secret CATS shooting range. I'll show you down below what that link is to the Central Arizona target shooters who are very nice to let us use their range today. And we are testing out the latest whiz bang buzzkill, whatever type you want to call it, the ammo from Seismic. This is the 185 grain 9mm self-defense round. It goes about 975 feet per second. It kind of sounds to me, Brian, like they're trying to shove a 45 ACP into a 9mm case. What do you think? Absolutely. It seems like it's, it's very well designed. We're going to see how it functions. I don't know. I... I think it's going to be interesting. I think the results are going to be interesting. It will be very different. We don't have a whole lot of penetration or uh, things we can do out here today, but we'll try to come up with something. In the meantime, we're also going to show you how it works through a suppressor because these individuals put on their packaging that is perfect for suppressors. We shall see. Also, Talking Guns will be following up with some more ballistic testing with this against some threat, threat level 3A body armor and some other obstacles to see how it performs under those conditions. Sounds like a plan. You ready to get started? Let's do it. So we got five rounds loaded. We're going to see how it does. We're at 15 yards. We'll see how the group comes out. Shoot an HKP-30L. Interesting. So first shot aiming for the center went high, so I decided to aim it slightly lower. When I aimed it slightly lower, I ended up low. <laughs> Looks like it. So then I went back to the center, I ended up high I ended up high up again, and I would bet you that the other rounds went right up above where that went to. And this was five rounds at five, uh, fifteen yards. Fifteen yards, five rounds. Well, let's see what else. Very happens. interesting. So I'll try it again. This time I'm going to use my unicorn, my CZ P10S, which has done extremely well with 124 grain ammunition at 15 to 20 yards. What it's going to do with this, well, we're about to find out. Fire in the hole. That is odd. So with the P10S, I maintained a center hold. My eyesight isn't as good as Brian, so I couldn't tell where I was hitting or missing. And you can see that the group down here, well, at least four of them, right down here, low left, but it grouped better than you did. <laughs> First round is a Ruger. The next will be the new stuff. Four inches below. Four inches below. Twenty-five yards. Alright. Left. Okay, we're going to try this from 10, 15, and 20 yards. Same shooter, same gun, all at once, and see how we do grouping-wise. Okay, we're going to try this again, and now we're using an HKP-30L, and we'll see if we have the same results. Yeah. 
Well, it looks to me like we got two of them pretty darn close to each other. One in the eight and one in the seven. Or, excuse me, that's the eight and the nine ring, so that's a heck of a lot of improvement. Might be the gun, might be the shooter. Okay, here we go again with the HK at 15 yards. All right, so we're looking here, and we have two. That one looks like it's keyholing, and that one went straight in. All right, here we go at the 20-yard line. So far, doing a lot better. You can see there's one there at the very bottom. That was the second round, and then there's another one right up there in the eight ring. Did you hear the difference? Well, we're looking at the target and there seems to be something missing. New bullet holes. Oh, wait, there it is, off to the left. Here we go with some steel action. Well, we can hit the steel. Nice. All right, so we're going to give this stuff a shot through a Gemtech suppressor and see how we do. A Gemtech Lunar 45. The ammo, however, is 9 millimeter. Well, that wasn't a good sign. That's just ammo. The trigger didn't do anything. One more time after One. it didn't function the first time. One more time! Let's give it a shot. Got some gook on me that time. Definitely uh, more oomph to it. More oomph? Yeah. All right. Than a standard round. Yeah. Seismic didn't exactly blow me away. That's a really unfortunate choice of words, too. Uh, we do have some rounds left. There may be a chance in a little while we may be able to put together some sort of penetration tests if we can work up the enthusiasm. We're out here for our second round with the seismic, what was this stuff called? Quake maker. So we're going to make a quake in a few things. Brian here brought some stuff for us to try out. We're gonna do that penetration test we were talking about last time. And you said you brought something else interesting to shoot at, what was that? The ballistic gel block. The ballistic gel block, yes it is. It's right behind us, big, fat, ugly, you know, like me. So we'll have some fun doing that shooting a few other things we'll see just exactly what this whiz bang stuff is actually good for and we'll compare it to regular ammo that's out there for duty use today absolutely let's get to it outstanding Went right through it. So in testing of the seismic ammo into the ballistic gel block at 10 feet, it went clean through all 16 inches of gel and continued down the range without any sort of expansion whatsoever. In fact, the exit wound is smaller than an eraser. Nine BPLE. Go 
Golden Saber over penetrated. So as we can see, the Remington Golden Saver came out literally textbook perfect in the gel block. I've never seen something so perfect, <laughs> literally. It's uh, exactly the way they show in all their displays and all their demos. And it plopped right out the other end. It literally just fell out the other side of the gel block. <laughs> Nine BPLE round two. I'm gonna have to switch my carry ammo. All right, we've got a couple rounds of Quake Maker to put into this ballistic pad. Let's see what happens. It's a level three A. Level three. A. Well, now it's a level four. So we have our entry wound here. No exit on the back side. Let's do a second one, see what happens. Sounds good. All right, so we put another round right next to that one. And we're going to see what it looks like, cut it open, check it out. Absolutely. Using the trusty Crudo knife. The vicious looking knife there, amigo. Oh, there it is, right there. And this looks like both rounds. Oh, they made it. No other pieces in there at all. Didn't really go in that much, if you could look. Not a lot of nope. layers at all. It only really went in about two layers. Sounds like it did what it's supposed to do, and the armor did what it's supposed to do. Correct. 9 BPLE, 10 yards, or 10 feet, what is it? Ten feet. Ten feet. Down she goes. Rip and tear, rip and tear. So this is the 9 BPLE that Brian is now fishing around for. It is all the way in there. I'm going to zoom out a little bit so we can see what we're doing. You're the same guy that would tear the tags off the mattresses too, aren't you? I am. There it is. As you can see, it went through all of these layers and pretty much a perfectly retained weight. Looks good. It's super hot too. <laughs> and compared to the uh, Quake Maker, I'm kind of disappointed. So just because we couldn't get a retained bullet out of the gel, we thought we'd try water jugs. All right, let me get out of the blast zone. All right, well, it looks like we may have actually been successful. Uh, Brian's gonna pull out that uh, samurai sword that he carries around. And just for future reference, as an Arizona native, I always despise the waste of water with no reason. However, this had a reason. Well, well, There's nothing in here. So it did not, it did go through it, but I only saw one penetration. Hey, wait, here. We have a fragment, but there is no fragments inside this. That's amazing. I don't know, the other fragments could have went... Elsewhere. Yeah. But this clearly went in here. It went in, and that was it. And all we've got left is that one tiny piece of lead to show for it. That's it, right there. Five water jugs. All right, let's see what else we can do. Ladies and gentlemen, it appears that we may have found our culprit. That looks like it right there. There you go, that's it right there. And you said that's the pedal that broke off. Right there, yeah. So we've got somewhat 
expansion on there. Uh, not very great expansion. Not what I would consider ideal. Not like that Golden Sabre. No, not at all. All right, thank you. Well, here we are with our final farewell. Unfortunately, our tripod broke, so Brian, you get to give the final farewell. So in the testing that we did today with the ballistic gel block, with the water jug, and the level 3A ballistic panel, seismic did not add up to what they were supposed to. It really didn't perform anywhere near what they claim. This 100% weight retention isn't even close to possible, and we did it in three different scenarios, three different times, same weapon, three different results. The really surprising one, I think, for both of us was the water jug. Yes, absolutely. That was the one that was really surprising. It went through five water jugs without a problem, and it fragmented on the last one. And what we believe happened is a key hold in the fourth one and sent a fragment forward into the fifth and shot out between the fourth and the fifth. That so. sounds right to me. This would be a definite not recommend. I would have to concur. So thank you everybody for watching. I'm Dave Armored Man from CZFirearms.us, the original CZ Forum, and... I'm Brian from TalkingGuns.net. You can follow us on Instagram at TalkingGuns. Thank you very much. Thank you.